Hey guys, this is Dennis here from uh, Denny Bob's RC Construction and Ag Conversions. I just got done with my D10. I call it a D10T. Some people call it the Bruder D11. Whatever you want to call it. This is my girl. Uh, I, she just got some new shoes on. Uh, it was a project I worked on last night. Uh, started on at about 5.30. I quit about 2 o'clock in the morning. Then I turn around four hours later, get up and go to work. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired. But hey, it's all for fun, right? Uh, you got to work on this stuff when you can. And uh, so, anyway, uh, the tracks, I went with the single cleat tracks from Magon. Uh, I did originally have the Bruder plastic tracks on this thing. Um... I was trying to figure out a way to get a little more weight to it, the metal tracks, and I went with the brass gears because brass is way heavier than aluminum. So I put the, the uh, brass drive gears and the brass idlers on it as well. Uh, I did my mounting just a little bit different than Magon does. Uh, I actually had to fabricate these sprockets that they sent me to fit my hubs, to fit my motors. Because I actually have the big 90 degree uh, 8 millimeter shaft, uh, 90 degree gear motors in here, and two of them in here. And uh, they're super quiet, seem to have really good power, uh, and I'm powering each one of those with a Hobbywing 1060 ESC. Now, the 1060 ESCs, I am feeding them with a... Right now, I just have a little 2200 3S LiPo battery in there, and it seems to do pretty good. I am hoping to sometime get it dried out outside and actually get this thing out in the dirt, along with all of my RC creations. Uh, we got a chance of one to two inches of snow tomorrow, so it's going to be a while before I actually uh, get out and enjoy this hobby. But uh, tonight I was like, I was looking at it and I'm like, boy, these tracks are pretty aggressive. You suppose they grab and climb it up and over a 2x4? I don't know. Let's see. Just a standard old pine 2x4. We're going to see if she can climb up on it. I, I, maybe it's just silly of me, but hey, we'll see what happens. Up and over. Woohoo! Yep. There we go. <laughs> yes, yeah, you'll do it. But, uh, yeah, that's a little gung ho there. And these are 65 RPM motors, so they're not what I call super fast. They're more to scale. A lot of guys make their dozers go super fast. A dozer does not go fast at all. They are built for low grunting power. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make a quick video of that. But, yeah. Anyway, but uh, I'm kind of impressed. They are actually, uh, and if you can go back and look at some of my other videos, I have a parts listing of all the other conversion stuff that I used on this with links to where I bought it and whatnot. And, uh, you know... This hobby is super fun for me. If you like this video, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, give me a like. Go back out and watch a bunch of my other videos. A lot of them about the builds that I do. I do not do a lot of step-by-step, -step except for the little K688 um, uh, excavator that I did. Uh, I did kind of a step-by-step. -step. I didn't go and show every little detail, but... I kind of give you a descriptive detail of what I used and what I did to build it. So, um, And I, I know I've got a couple more videos out there. At least one more of this old girl here. Um, and, uh, you know, I enjoy this hobby. I really do, guys. I really do. Um, it's extremely fun. And uh, so, anyway, I just figured I'd pop in here and do a quick video of it. Um, I'm going to grab the camera and kind of go around here. Uh, show just a few things, you know, kind of on the tracks and whatnot.
Now, these are the tracks that I did have on it. They're just the stock brooder tracks that come on the machine. I actually take and machine out the center bar to make them just a little more aggressive. But they're super light. They don't, they don't weigh nothing. Um, these are extremely deep, extremely aggressive. Um, I think they look pretty good. But I had to actually take the Magom sprocket that they send me and drill it out to fit my hubs that I had already made. Because I know Magom, they use like a six millimeter shaft on a straight direct gear motor. And uh, that wasn't the way I did mine. So, yeah, I think they look pretty good. And if you listen just quietly, you can hear the cooling fan. The cooling fan is actually sucking through here and blowing air down on the, all the ESCs and trying to keep everything cool. Uh, one thing electronics do not like to do, they don't like to get hot. But anyway, got my little brooder operator in there. We'll just call him Bob. But yeah, looks like a good lot of fun, don't it? I am really looking forward to actually getting this thing out and, uh, and using it soon. But anyway, There she is. Uh, that was just a kind of a quick project. I'll be honest with you, the, the paint is still a little bit green yet on them tracks. So some people leave them natural, and I probably should have just left them natural. But, you know, the paint will chip and wear off, give it kind of a real look when it's all done smack down in the dirt. But uh, anyway, just figured I'd share a little bit of my uh, build with you guys. Catch you guys later.